How many of you write yourselves? Yeah, I could tell. I knew it. I knew it. You could see. Why, why are you raising your hand in an in a apologetic, you in the purple, kind lady? <laughs> she raised it like this. Oh, I guess so. See, that's what I thought you would say. What's your first name? See, Angel, that's, here's the thing, man. So I think that people go to writing programs and they go to writing conferences and they work with these older established writers, some of whose work they really admire, because they're looking for a very natural thing. They're looking for that magic wand, that sword upon the shoulder, say, you have it, you don't, you do, you three don't, you do. <laughs> and you know, ain't never gonna get that. And, and even those who do get that wand, that wand is useless. Because oftentimes these older writers are wrong, they're playing favorites, or they might be right, but it still doesn't matter because you're the one who has to live that writerly life the rest of your life. Here's my thought, Angel, and you don't have to answer it, but it's not about being published. That's a wonderful problem to have, and I wish it on all writers because it is a joy. But you're a writer if you can answer the question this way. If you can go a year without writing and feel just fine, you're not a writer. So what? It's actually a good piece of news. Now you're free to go find out what the hell you're supposed to do. But I can tell. I bet you can't go three, four days in a row without writing without feeling far away from Angel, right? Okay, so forget published. You're already a writer. 